In today's video, I'm going to show you two methods for creating a typewriter effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hello, my name is Shabit, and if you want to see more awesome tutorials like this one, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell button to be notified when I add new content. In the first method, I will be using the crop effect. To begin, create a sequence and select the text tool from the tools panel or press T on your keyboard. Then click on the program panel and input your text. Go to essential graphics and if you don't see it, go to window and select essential graphics. From here, you may change the alignment, font, text size, text color, stroke and other settings. When you are satisfied with your text, go to effects panel. If you don't see it, go to window and select effects. Then search for crop and add it to your text layer. Go to Fix Control Panel and make sure the playhead is at the beginning. In the Crop Effects section, click on this stopwatch for right property to add a keyframe for this attribute. Increase the right property's value to 100%. Then while holding down the Shift key, press the right arrow key on your keyboard to escape 5 frames. Then decrease the right attribute's percentage until the first character appears. And it automatically adds a keyframe when the value changes. Repeat the same steps to reveal the second character. Skip 5 frames while holding shift and pressing the right arrow key. Then decrease the right attribute's percentage until the second character appears. Follow the same process to make every character visible. This is what you get, but we don't want it to look like this. Instead, we want every character to show up one by one. To do this, select all your keyframes, right click on one of them, and choose Hold from the drop down menu. Let's now create our blinking cursor. To do this, right click inside the project panel, then go to New Item and select Color Map. Click OK and choose a color based on the color of your text. Name your color mat and click OK. Then simply drag the color mat layer above your text layer in the timeline. With your color mat layer selected, head over to FX Control and turn off Uniform Scale. Then drop the width value to 0.5, or as thick you want your cursor to be. And then decrease the scale height till the cursor is just a little bit taller than your text. Now change the value of the position property to bring the cursor to the beginning of the text. And make sure the playhead is at the beginning. Then add a keyframe. Skip 5 frames by holding down the shift key and pressing the right arrow key. And change the position value to move the cursor after the first character. Then continue the same step to move the cursor after each character. Skip 5 frames and adjust the position value. Select all of your keyframes, right click on one of them, and choose hold from temporal interpolation drop down menu. Now drag from the right of the color map layer to extend its duration for however long you want it to blink before it starts typing. Then cut the layer exactly where it lines up with your text clip. And make a cut every 10 frames. And erase every clip between two cuts to create a space between them. You have now a blinking cursor. To add another one at the end of your animation, follow the same steps. And that was the first method. In the second method, I will animate the source text. To begin, select the text tools from the tools panel or use the T key on your keyboard. Then click on the program panel and enter your text. Go to essential graphics. If you can't find it, go to window and select essential graphics. From here, you may adjust the alignment, font, text size, text color, stroke, and other options. Once you are satisfied with your text, go to fix controls panel and position the playhead at the beginning. Expand text properties, click on the stopwatch for the source text to add a keyframe, and clear your text. Click anywhere in the fix control panel, then skip 5 frames by holding down the shift key and pressing the right arrow key, and type your first character. Again, click on the fix control panel, skip 5 frames, and type your second character. Repeat the same process for each character in your text. After you have finished, you will get something like this. Now it's time to add the blinking cursor. To do this, right click inside the program panel, then go to new item and select color map. Click OK and choose a color based on the color of your text. Name your color map and click OK. 
Then simply drag the color map layer above the text layer in your timeline. With your color map layer selected, head over to Events Control and turn off Uniform Scale. Then drop the width value to 0.5, or as thick you want your cursor to be. And then decrease the scale height till the cursor is just a little bit taller than your text. Now bring the playhead to the beginning and add a keyframe for position property. Skip 5 frames by holding down the shift key and pressing the right arrow key. And change the position value to move the cursor after the first character. Then continue the same steps to move the cursor after each character. Select all your keyframes, right click on one of them and choose hold from temporal interpolation drop down menu. Now drag from the right of the color map layer to extend its duration or however long you want it to blink before it starts typing. Then cut the layer exactly where it lines up with your text layer. And make a cut every 10 frames. Then erase every clip between two cuts to create a space between them. You have now a blinking cursor. To add another one at the end of your animation, follow the same steps. And here is a preview of what you should get. Please feel free to ask any questions you may have in the comment section below and I will do my best to respond. Subscribe for more tutorials and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new content. Thank you for watching.